Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Think Diffusion. Today we have a guest here with us, Dennis. Uh, he'll, will, he'll walk us through his workflow uh, and he'll also tell us what he likes to do in the space. Um, so yeah, uh, nice to meet you, Dennis. How are you? Hey everybody, uh, I'm good, thanks. Yeah, so uh, Dennis, um, just... A quick introduction. What do you like to do in the space? Uh, what you find interesting? So before AI, I was creating social media content like uh, Zach King style uh, visual effects uh, videos for myself and for work. Uh, and then, then I found AI like everybody else. I just fell into the rabbit hole. I had no uh, background in... Uh, coding or something like that and it was a difficult learning curve but I'm stubborn and this is I think my I think my uh, childhood idea was to be an animator and I and I saw this opportunity like a cheat code because I can't really draw so I wanted to create like video to video animations and like turn turn videos into learn learn how to turn videos into animation style so uh, that's when I began practicing this new art, uh, and that's it. And then I'm, I'm like almost two years in. Uh, I I'm creating stuff for myself on my Instagram. I also uh, worked on a couple of projects for commercial projects, video projects, and uh, I also uh, consult and help uh, firms like uh, integrate AI into their work space in order to help them be more quick at their stuff, you know? That's awesome. Yeah, I, I used to watch Zach King videos when I was younger. <laughs> I remember those, um, but yeah, nice. Um, so today, uh, what kind of workflow are you going to walk us through? So this workflow I created as a practice for myself. I constantly like think of a workflow and try to create it without going into to the tutorials and stuff. And I try to build myself in order to get better and understand it without like help from outside. And this is a fun little workflow that can take a video and uh, segment it into different areas and uh, paint each area into different color. And then uh, I can assign an image and reference image to each of the colors and generate like a cool little video. But uh, not, not huge precision, but looks fun. It's just kind okay. of fun work. Awesome, yeah. So what we have here, uh, this, this is actually Two, two workflows in two parts. I decided to run it on two different workflows. Uh, you can easily integrate it into one, but this is just how I wanted to do it. And I need to mention this. Uh, I created this one maybe a month ago, maybe something like that. And uh, the AI world moves very fast. So there are some outdated stuff here. Like for example, it takes uh, this video right here. Let's put something, let's take this bird. I had this video of this cute little penguin. So it takes this video and runs it through Sam. Uh, and Sam is a segmenter that can, using a prompt, I write right here a prompt and it can detect the sky the sky in the video and cut it out, like rotoscope it out. So there are new new SEM SEM2 that came out just a couple of days ago, which is supposed to be better, but this one still works. So anyone that understands this uh, how comfy works and how nodes work will can easily update it. 
Okay. <laughs> so yeah, perfect. I'm I'm just muted, so I don't uh, disturb you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cool. So as I said, I load the video here, and the video runs through three different segmenters. In each of the segmenters, there's a green box here, where I run the prompt, where I uh, write the prompt. So for example, this one, I wrote sky, and this one I wrote woman, but this is not a woman, so we need to update it. That's right. How do you write penguin like this? Cool. And the third one is the ground. And uh, what it's supposed to do, let's run it for 10 frames. It's supposed to cut out the penguin, cut out the sky, cut out the ground, and assign and assign a color to each and one each one of those layers. A red, a green, and a blue color. So let's run it. I hope it will be quick. I need to show you the preview. So first it cuts out everything. Here's the sky, here is the penguin, here is the ground. Then it paints it into different colors. Show preview. So now we have three layers, each of them with a different color. And these two nodes combine everything together into one video. And this is our 10 frames. So we do have another color here, which is black. And uh, we will solve, we, we also can fill this color out in the next step. So this is the second part of the workflow where we can load the video that we created earlier, which is with the RGB colors. We have two video loaders here. One is for this one, for the colors. And the second one, I assigned it for the control nets. The second video is only for control nets. Uh, I can, I think I, I, I can use this for control net, but here we, we have much more details. So either one works, we can use both. You can upload the original video here, or you can upload the RGB video here. It will give you different results. You can play with it, try it out. Let's leave it right here. And here is the loader where we load the model. This workflow uses the LCM model. So it uh, will work much quicker than the regular model. Uh, this is the IP adapters and they have an uh, attention mask assigned to each one of those colors. So we have the red channel, the green channel, the blue channel, and the black channel. And for each of, and one of them, we can assign a picture. So let's try something out. So we have the red channel. The red channel is the sky. So here we already have the picture of the sky, so we can leave it right here. Here, the, here is the green channel. And uh, the green channel, we want to upload something similar to the shape of the bird, maybe another bird. Uh, of course, you can load a picture of Charlie Chaplin, but don't expect for the outcome to be very good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I <can. laughs> so let's try another bird. Let's like, let's write parrot, this one. 
Boom. The blue channel is the ground. So we have a picture of a grass here. I think it's okay. Let's leave it there. And the last one is the black. Uh, let's think of a waters tree. Uh, let's use this one. Okay. So you can play with the control nets. Uh, wait, let's finish up with the IP adapters. So after loading the pictures, uh, you can play with the strength, of course, with the weight uh, of the of the on the influence of the picture on the outcome on the output video. Uh, then you can play with the control nets. I usually use the depth control net. Uh, it depends on what you want to create. Uh, the depth control net will give it more freedom to create uh, something else. Because if, if, if we will use a Kenny or a line art, it will like bound the model into those lines that are like a pattern on the penguin and his eyes and, and where his beak is. So let's try depth. Let's make sure we are like, let's make it 20, let's make 30. 30 frames will take a while, but let's try that. Okay, and the last step before we're uh, pressing the Q prompt is, of course, the prompt itself. We need to help the IP adapters to create something um, closer to what we want to see. So let's write the prompt. So we switched to a dramatic close-up before <laughs> we press Q prompt. Uh, I also need to mention that can you, you can write the negative prompt here or use embeddings. Which one do you like? So let's try to generate something and see what we come up with. You can find this workflow uh, in the link in the description. I will upload it to Google Drive. Uh, and you're free to work with it and uh, maybe make it better. And uh, I would like to see what you create with this. Nice. And uh, where can anyone uh, looking at this video support you? Uh, you can find me on Instagram at uh, whiz, at AI whiz with a triple Z. Uh, you will put the link, of course. Yeah, I will put in the link. Uh, you can you can uh, watch it my uh, watch my work there. Uh, this most of the work there is for my own pleasure. So there are some weird stuff there. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> go 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 ahead. Hit me up. Write me a message, and uh, I can help out if you need some help with workflows and stuff. Okay, awesome. Yeah, uh, thank you so much uh, for everything, Dennis. Um, it was sure. a pleasure to have you on and uh, have a great day. Thanks, you too. Yeah. Bye. Bye.